And that story alone just showed you, just showed me that like it doesn't matter because God knows our heart. He will literally still take our crap, complete crap, and take our crap and make it good. Hi guys and welcome to uh, Christ with Chanel, uh, a new series I wanted to do here on my YouTube channel to basically talk about the goodness of God and my struggle as being a human and him straighten me out, basically. <laughs> it's basically going to be that, me being super vulnerable about my walk with God, being a Christian and the reality of it and his goodness and how he is making all things good so i hope you all enjoy i if you are a returning subby i don't worry i still love hair makeup and fashion and all that fun jazz um and i will hopefully soon be posting st still stuff like that it's just god has really been putting this on my heart since the end of january of last year <laughs> to not only get back on YouTube, because my subbies know I haven't been on here since 2020. Hashtag I'm sorry. Um, but he just really wanted me to document this journey and my, my relationship getting deeper with him. So I obviously was not as obedient as I should have been. That's my word for the new year for 2024 is obedience and he put the pressure on in, Fe in February he was like girl you need to get on this <laughs> so that's what I'm doing oh happy leap year I'm film I'm filming this literally on our leap year day it's February 29th so how how nostalgic for that as well so I'll see what I'm up to four years from now, but I'll at least have this documented to see what I had been going through the four years past. So that works. <laughs> so let me just give you guys a rundown and why I want to do Christ with Chanel and what's been going on with me. If you've been watching a few of my stories, you've kind of got a taste and like some background there, but your girl, mm, your girl likes to talk too much and 60 seconds isn't enough and that's why my stories always end up being like two three parts because i i can't i can't fit what i need to say in 60 seconds so i'm that's why i'm so glad to be back on here and be sharing this with you all but basically i've been i've been saved since i was 11. i grew up in a christian household and always grew up knowing what, who Jesus is and God and the gospels and grew up in church every Sunday kind of concept. I personally didn't give my life to Jesus until the summer before I started sixth grade. I fully remember I felt like not only am I a middle schooler, I'm a new person in Christ. So like I'm going to middle school with God within me and I remember that being like the biggest thing <laughs> and God literally the first time God genuinely like answering a prayer of mine was it was the dumbest prayer too <laughs> in middle school they had these like pom-pom things that they would like give out to raise money and they like were running out and they literally only had a few left and it was like the next day at school is gonna be the last day and I was like Lord God because my parents they loved us. They gave us what we needed and what we wanted majority of the time, but they wouldn't do like frugal, frugal things like that. Like I wasn't going to just be able, I normally wouldn't be able to just run home and be like, mom, dad, I want money for a pom pom at school <laughs> kind of concept. Or at least at that time in my head, I didn't think I could. So I like literally remember praying to God, God, please, please let mom and dad be willing to give me money to buy this pom pom at school. And not on, to on top of that, God, if you could also make sure that there is at least enough pom-poms for me to buy when I get back to school the next day. And he made it happen. He soft my parents' hearts to give, my, give myself, to give me the money, as well as I got like the, the last of like three 
I remember. And that's when I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is no joke. Like, God, you're really there. You're really real and you really hear me. And of course, like with that throughout my life with my faith, like God has like shown his goodness, shown his greatness throughout my life. But I admit just being in like in perfect relationships with generally human beings period you're it's gonna leave some some marks and some damage let's be honest and i literally would take the poor characteristics of people like and put them on god and i would sit there and assume that oh god doesn't love me unless i do this this and that because xyz like this person showed me that they're not gonna love me unless i do this or they're not gonna care for me if i don't do this or i can't get people's attention unless i do that kind of concept and that's not god that's not our god by no means but it like i had a lack of trust within him so i wouldn't let him in all aspects of my life which like i said why wouldn't i when he's everything good and he knows literally the beginning to end so again dumb on my part dumb on me so this past year i literally and the t- in my birthday month i remember in september of 2023 of sitting there saying like lord god i really genuinely like want to get deeper with you and like pretty much pick up my my lazy christian game so i had started reading my bible every day and like doing devotions and in october i prayed a very naive but dangerous prayer where i flat out said to god i want to know who you are and your genuine true character better help me see who you are being real naive about it like i said that's a dangerous prayer thinking that he's just gonna show me his love his provision his protection and all the goodness of who he is without a fiery trial i really thought that i really was out here thinking i was like oh god you're gonna just show me how good you are by like i don't know giving me sunny days all the rest of my life no everything blew up in october like no other and i lost one of the most valuable relationships i had had in my life at that time that i genuinely had prayed for i literally prayed for a best friend because i had a decade ago had prayed this because i had no one he answered that prayer gained this friend been best friends like she took the place of like just not only a best friend but like a sister because i'm not close to my sister always wanted to be but we've just never been able to get there so she was not only a best friend she was a sister and she was the perfect boyfriend replacement too because i no longer was reaching out for these dumb guys that i was dating prior trying to find fulfillment within those relationships i had received everything i needed in that and i literally took the gift god gave me and made an idol and i put my whole identity in that so of course once that was taken from me your girl had a full-on breakdown i was like wow my whole world is upside down like no other and even though that was like the hardest thing i had ever had to go through walk through trust god within because lord jesus knows my faith was tested like no other like to its complete breaking point where i like literally told god like i don't know if this is worth it anymore (laughs) i don't know if you worth it i don't see it i don't feel you i'm out here praying reading my bible reading these books going to church i don't see any i don't see your not only just i don't even i i not only don't see your character i don't see you I don't feel you. I don't feel nothing. And I was like ready to just fully throw in my towel with my faith in my life. I was so done. But thankfully, he's so good and he sought me through. And I am finally like at the end, like I'm finally at the end of the tunnel. I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel of going through such a fiery trial. And my, even though my faith was tested in that, like no other, my roots are so deep now legit they are so deep like next trial i will not be shaken i'm gonna be i'm gonna simply be chilling being like my god got it i ain't even worried because yes i was completely shooketh in this one but i grew such deep roots within my faith and trusting god and him literally showing 
me his genuine true character and his goodness and he's still doing that today like I'm not fully through it everything like I know I don't have I'm just touching the tip of the iceberg of who God is I know that there's so much more but just in these last four months he's just done so much for me and I'm just so grateful I just can't wait to share all that with you all too but what outside of that I mainly wanted to come up here I think the last time I got personal and talked about anything on this channel I was talking about my IBS and poop and here I am talking about poop again but that's just the realness of of life on here but um this past Sunday my pastor was talking about of course the analogy about how we're always considered sheep and like Jesus is our good shepherd he brought up the concept that I had never heard before and it's the fact that apparently sheep have the most nutritious poop in the world and I was like oh okay so he said that when you have a field where you, the soil is like depleted of nutrients it's like no good you can't grow anything on it no crops nothing they say that they usually take sheep and let it graze there and be there for like a year a year and that their literal poop nourishes the re-nourishes the ground where you can then put a harvest in there the year the, the next year and I don't know why, but I thought that was the most intriguing thing in in the entire world, especially as I guess for me concerning my life and where I am right now and the fact that I just feel like I have so much crap in me and that God's like definitely like working things out for my good. But I get so, if anything, I get so down on me being like, God, why am I here? I'm no good for no one. I'm no good to you. I'm no good for this anyone on this earth. Like, I just really just get in my head sometimes, which I know is a devil of just thinking like there is no, no good in me. And that story alone just showed you, just showed me that like it doesn't matter because God knows our heart. He will literally still take our crap, complete crap, and take our crap and make it good. And not only make it good, he will take that crap, nourish the soil to make the soil good to grow other things. And that's literally the basis of a Christian walk right there is that it does not matter what you think or how you feel about yourself. God is enormously like completely unconditionally in love with you. And he wants to take you as you are because he's going to take your crap transform it and that crap is going to be nourishing to the basis of your life because he's going to turn that stuff into good and then not only that he's going to then be able to plant something there that's going to produce fruit to nourish other people you're going to be out there able to touch other people's lives with it and that's what I'm really just hoping that this channel is is that I can just be up here, be honest with you all concerning like what's going on in my life and how God's like using me and touching me and transforming me. So hopefully you all can take, so hopefully he takes my crap so it can be at least a fruit to you all <laughs> in a positive way. And that's basically it. So just want to do a quick intro and introduce y'all to Christ with Chanel. I can't wait to come back and talk talk more with you all about just like what I'm learning and what God's just been like showing me and putting in me and hopefully it's impactful and touches someone I mean that's all I want is even if it's just one person like God wanted me to do this for a reason so I'm gonna be obedient and follow through but outside of that um, I hope you guys are having a blessed day and I can't wait to talk to you all again, but until next time, y'all take care. Bye.